Okay, this is a video by request. I wanted to use Stellarium to do this video, but it kept crashing on me and I kept getting interrupted. So I'm going to ask you just to keep those images, those Stellarium views in your head as I'm talking about this. Uh, what is different about this lunar eclipse than other lunar eclipses? Quite a bit. Uh, we haven't had a blue blood moon eclipse in a, in, since 1866. It's been um, over 150 years ago. Uh, and that was the end of the Civil War um, when this occurred. So let's hope the civil unrest that we've been dealing with might too come to an end because of where this is happening. Um, it's happening in the moon's house of cancer. Uh, and that's very important. This is what I consider an answer to the solar eclipse. Because the moon eclipsed the sun in its own house of Leo on the fixed cross. And that was when everything began and Thalem began actually to reveal himself was at this point. And when you talk about it, just a full moon, you talk about the fruition of something. It's a completion. It's an apex. New things began on a new moon. A solar eclipse happens with a new moon, a new beginning. Now, this is happening in the moon's house, right next door on the cardinal cross. That puts the sun and the earth from the moon's perspective, both in cardinal earth, that is the most high. Currently, Saturn, Venus, and Mercury are there. All three that represent heaven and earth signs, air and earth. Um, so it is like the answer to it. It's the answer to the solar eclipse. It's the complete, it's the apex of what was to be achieved during that, and now you'll have declination back down to the next solar eclipse. There are cycles within cycles. And right now, almost every cycle that is playing out is playing out um, in favor of Saturn. Uh, Saturn in his own house of Capricorn with the Sun, with Venus, with Mercury, uh, eclipsing using the earth to eclipse the moon in her own house. It's the battle of water and the battle of uh, earth. At the same time, during the solar eclipse, we saw the battle of fire and the battle of sky, air. When Cancer was in the spring equinox is when we saw the flood. When Cancer past the summer solstice and headed to the fall, she's headed to the fall, uh, that brings Cardinal Earth on around. It's their battle at each opposite end. So this being flood and very wet, this being very dry. Uh, we've been talking a lot in the media about rising waters, and you probably will see that because you're talking about Pisces and Jupiter and, and the end of this age. And Jupiter is about expansion. It actually means expansion. Um, Steely Dan wrote a song. This is the day of the expanding man. Um, I believe the song was Deacon Blues because it's Jupiter's day. And he rules water, so you're going to see expanding waters. But when, and we're at where water meets sky right now, at the event horizon. So when you're starting to see all of these cycles within cycles playing out in the favor of Saturn. This is like a, a grand slam now. We had uh, the 36-year Kabbalistic cycle of the planets where Saturn took control this past year. 
we are moving into the age of Aquarius where Saturn takes control. We, we're having a Saturn-Jupiter conjunction in the house of Saturn where Saturn takes control. This is all about government, and I'm not talking specifically about the systems that we have. This is about governing the mind. That's what it means. You govern the mind. In, uh, in, a automat in an automatic transmission on a car, they have a type of filter. It's a filter called a governor, and it... It's if the governor's out, the car won't shift. It won't for you automatically to where you don't have that in a manual transmission. So to have that governor to make things go. Capricorn is about doing. This is doing. So this is not doing. Uh, so not doing is being eclipsed. This is a time of getting things done. This is a time, actually, of unification. Uh, and I think if any of you watched Trump's speech last night, you would have caught uh, that theme there. But you'll still have resistance in the house of Jupiter, because Uranus is there retrograde. A double rebellion. And that's exactly what they're doing. You can start to see now the two houses, and uh, actually the Republicans nor the Democrats like uh, the Trump card that was played, because neither one of them were serving what he is. We're coming into the age of knowing. Uh, Mars is moving into Scorpio. Uh, this is about secrets. Woo, secrets being uncovered. But that's not in play quite yet. We have a new moon coming up uh, at, as a response to this lunar eclipse. Uh, that new moon happening at the other end of the calendar. Again, I do believe in Capricorn. It runs its cycle. So, a new beginning again. New beginnings. New beginnings. But this, this particular one, was definitely an answer to the moon eclipsing the sun in the house of the sun, and then the moon being eclipsed in its own house on a super blue blood moon that has not occurred in over 150 years. And let's do hope that we find, and even after the Civil War, there is still distress and unification, uh, uh, segregation where the South is concerned. Uh, they still consider themselves separate like Texas does. And now California wants to secede. So there's been a lot of division, division, division. And that's how you get expansion. You have to divide a thing and it expands. Uh, Saturn is about contraction. Less is more. Uh, when Jupiter is more is more. Jupiter wants it all. Lock, stock, and barrel. Uh, it has a sense of greed to it. Uh, and Star Wars, that's the uh, empire. The empire is about expansion. So when you see a government playing empire, then you, you're aware of who they're serving. Especially when they use that war to make empire. I done a video, nobody's noticed, I done a video of Saturn versus Jupiter, and there's no more buzz in the feed. Uh, somebody sent me a little netbook a while back, and um, I've been using it to mine with, but I wiped the drive, reloaded everything up. I'm actually having a problem with Stellarium right now on it, so I'm going to have to go back and reconfigure a little things to get it to run. Uh, and I have to shut everything down and get rid of a lot of obsolete stuff off of it. Uh, the package that I downloaded was uh, the big one. And this thing is just not built for that. But thank you, Guy, for the netbook. It's really come in handy. Sorry about that slight interruption. My dog was fixing to go off. Very noisy around here. 
And then I have, uh, I'd like to thank Tim too and Chris who have made it possible for me to even make videos right now. So thank all three of you. Uh, hopefully I can get this Stellarium thing worked out and can get back to doing charts. Um, but it's actually, I'm beating my head against the wall with it right now and I'm not sure how to circumvent the problem. But I will figure it out. So put on your happy caps, your happy hats, uh, because things should be starting to improve, uh, especially at the beginning of the next new moon after this. I don't know how many of you felt the effects of that, but I was in quite a bit of distress as this, I was up as this new moon, uh, full moon was occurring and then fell into the uh, eclipsed moon. And it may, it was very difficult on me physically and emotionally. I cannot begin to tell you. Understand cancer in this moon is about home. It's about family. That's what that sign is about. Um, a lot of when you have Venus in Cancer, home, uh, the heart is where home is. And then when you have it in the opposite, which it is right now, it's not about home. It's home being eclipsed is what it is in a very uh, from Capricorn, from Cardinal Earth. Uh, the Pope currently sits in that seat of Cardinal Earth. It doesn't belong to him. It never did. He's on the mutable cross trying to rule the Cardinal Cross, and he has no business there. Uh, the whole thing, it's a sham. Uh, they know the book. They know the heavens. And so they play these parts, and they know they're playing these parts, and they do it because it, they can fleece the sheep. And that's how they make their living. Uh, but even within the words of the book, their doom is destined. Uh, they were, there are many stories. I'll go through them. I'll go through these allegories and these stories that are in the New Testament about the kingdom. Uh, the kingdom, the father went away and he left his son in charge and they killed the servant. They killed the son. And it was the overseers that were supposed to be taking care of us. Our tutors, our teachers who have made themselves wind czars. And they were supposed to be caring for us. And instead they enslaved us and fleeced the sheep. Now many of uh, many people are waking up. Some are waking up to the truth. Some are waking up to much bitterness. Um, myself and several other channels are currently under attack. There are videos being made about us. I find it quite humorous myself. We're being rebuked uh, by a bunch of Christians, <laughs> which I think it's hilarious because if they really knew what that book meant, uh, they would never dare make a video like that. That curse will return to them. What you sow is exactly what you will reap. And on that note, you know what to do. Go commit those random acts of kindness. And uh, I'll start doing videos when I can. I need to get this stellarium going and get me going. Uh, I have to put me first. <clears throat> and we all need to do that. I understand that. 